Hello, my name is Connie Potter. I'm co-producer of the Big Bang Stage for iChep 2020 and co-founder of the Big Bang Collective. What you're about to see is the last event on our program for this year's conference. And we're very happy to bring to you physicist Lawrence Lee Jr. from Harvard University. Are we ready to go? Hello, my name is Connie Potter. I'm co-producer of the Big Bang Stage for iChep. Sorry, sound problem there. I'm going to start again. Hello again. My name is Connie Potter. I'm co-producer of the Big Bang Stage at ITEP 2020 and a co-founder of the Big Bang Collective. What you're going to see now is the last event of the ITEP 2020 public program. We're very happy to bring to you physicist Lawrence Lee Jr. from Harvard University. He works on the Atlas experiment at CERN. He's also a very talented musician in his spare time. And he's also a big fan of vintage scientific equipment. Put all those things together and what you get is what you're going to see now. That is to say a DJ set using vintage oscilloscopes and electronic music. He showed this, uh, did this show last year at the Pahoda Festival, the Pahoda Music Festival, some of you may know in Slovakia, back when we actually did live festivals. I'm hoping we'll get back to that again. He did that show in uh, 2019 to great acclaim. He had a lot of people coming up to him afterwards, having enjoyed it very much. And for the Big Bang stage at iCheck 2020, we are very, very happy to be able to bring you that show somewhere unique, somewhere where such a show has never been done before from CERN's control center in Geneva, Switzerland. So if you have any questions afterwards, those of you who are in Prague at the Cross Club, and I hear there's quite a few of you there, hello everyone. You can talk to Gitika and to Martin, who are also physicists on the Atlas experiment at CERN. But without any further ado, I'm gonna hand over to Larry Lee from the CERN Control Center in Switzerland. Have a good evening.
Oh, 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 oh,
All right. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Cross Club. Good evening, Prague. Good evening, everybody watching the stream. How are you guys doing tonight? So, I'm talking to you right now from CERN, uh, outside of Geneva, Switzerland. Uh, and in fact, I'm right across the French border uh, in what's known as the CERN Control Center. That's what you can see around me right now. Um, this is called the CCC for short. And this room here controls really the huge complex of accelerators, of particle accelerators that we have here at CERN. And that means it includes the Large Hadron Collider, the LHC, right? This is, this is a huge 27 kilometer ring that's deep underground where I'm standing right now. And, and I am a particle physicist. Uh, I work on the ATLAS experiment here at CERN, and I spend my life studying the rules of the universe, the fundamental rules of the universe, and specifically how they might break down. Um, but on the side, I really enjoy playing music. And as, as you might know, music has a really deep connection with math and physics and engineering. So you can see next to me here, this big thing right here, and, uh, uh, and if you're at Cross Club right now, you'll see also these things next to you that are called oscilloscopes. And I guess actually if you're a nerd sitting at home, you might also be sitting next to one right now. These tools, also called scopes, uh, we use every day here at CERN. Uh, and are used really across science and engineering. And they're tools for visualizing and measuring waveforms. Waveforms of all kinds, including sound waveforms. Sound waves. So you can use this to study sound, to study music, uh, to study really timbre. Um, so, you might know that a pure tone in music or in sound comes from what's known as a sine wave. And you might remember that sines and cosines are about triangles, but kind of more fundamentally, they're about circles. So if I play you a, a, a pure tone, you'll see a circle on your scope. And that has just a quality of just being a single, pure sound, pure tone. You can also play more than one of those pure tones together uh, and, of course, form a chord. And you can see these two notes here together form a really nice shape, really beautiful shape, full of a lot of symmetry. And that's a relatively simple... Uh, harmony, right? It's a simple chord, it's a perfect fifth. If you instead play a more complex chord, that's going to come with a much more complex shape, with uh, more complicated symmetries. And this always is true as you go to other more complex And so there's a, a fundamental connection here between uh, the simplicity or complexity of a shape uh, and, and that of its harmony. Uh, so remember here that we're actually looking at the waveforms of the sound that you're hearing, right? So this is really a very deep connection here. So for example, this is called a square wave for kind of obvious reasons. And, and you can see that it has a much harsher kind of sound to it. And that comes with these kind of harsher shapes, right? So again, there's this deep connection between uh, uh, harsh shapes, harsh sounds, complex shapes, complex sounds. And this is really a, a, a very fundamental thing in sound. So you can, again, stack them on top of each other to form chords 
and again make the shape even more complex. So then the question is, what happens if we want to draw just any shape? Just whatever shape we want. So I draw shapes from my experiment, the Atlas experiment, and, uh, and the, really the world of particle physics. So for example, the Atlas detector uh, that I work on looks like this. And remember, it's exactly the sound that you're hearing that is drawing the shape that you're seeing. We're also here at the CERN Control Center, so I've got to, of course, show the Large Hadron Collider complex. And as I mentioned before, the LHC is fundamentally a big ring, and so that means it's a circle. And so again, we'll get these really round sounds out of the shape of the LHC. So this is what I do. I construct musical instruments from our scientific instruments here at CERN. Uh, and with them, I try to celebrate particle physics with you. Uh, look, if you're at Cross Club, go and see my colleagues over there. Go talk to them about physics, ask them your questions. That's what they're there. They're there to, 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 to talk to you about this stuff. Um, go, go learn a lot. And in fact, if you're over there, uh, they, uh, I believe, have a gift for you. Um, some cool toys that you can take home and, uh, and play with and, and learn about. So thank you so much for connecting to the stream. Thank you so much for coming out uh, to, to Cross. Um, and uh, I'm going to play a bunch more for you now. I hope you enjoy. Um, uh, if you're at home or if you're at cross or something, just feel free to get up and dance. It's highly, highly encouraged. Uh, my name is Larry, and this is Kaleidoscope. Thank you.
searching are going through you. Well, where are they and where are they coming from? Well, they might have come from the sun or other stars. They're cosmic rays. Just a minute, can you have the lights off, please? Yes, real particles are triggering the machine. We are made of particles like these. Particles with names like protons, neutrons, and electrons.
miles will only use half the bike itself. That's 186,000 miles per second.
generating these particles. No, it's just showing where they've gone through and through and through. You mean these particles are going through everywhere? You mean they're like they're going to go 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 to the to go to go to go to go to Real particles. Yes, real particles are triggering the machine. And we are made of particles like these. With particles with names like protons, neutrons, and electrons. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody at Cross, Cross Club. Thank you, the whole team, everybody who helped put this together. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody.